Reporting in Liberty State Park this Saturday afternoon, where different leaders from different wards here in Jersey City gathered just a few minutes ago and spoke to each other about the importance of being unified as a community to help to reduce the overall violence. They were also joined by uh, police officers from the Jersey City Police Department, a couple of whom spoke to the to the leaders and the mem and, mem and members of the community that gathered to also stress the importance of remaining unified. The needs in our community and the things that need to get done, we talk about the warrior class needing to be the one to stand up for us. Sure. Most of us here are warriors. Most of us have that inner spirit, that inner fight. But we haven't had the opportunity to invest that energy where it needs to go. Now more than ever, because of COVID and everything going down, we see the economic disparity more than ever. And if anybody's going to do anything for our community, it's going to be us. So that means we got to band together no matter what, because the higher vision, like we're saying, is our youth and our future. And if we don't come together now, they're not going to have what they need come down the line, especially with violence and all of us disappearing because we're taking each other out. We have to unify our strength and our force and start coming up with plans. Eh? Boy, we soldiers, man. Let's stop hurting each other and let's get it right, man. Today is the day, man. Today is the day. We lost loved ones with COVID. We see what's going on in the world. We're not tripping off that. We got our own problems. We're going to deal with our problems here, man. All y'all are soldiers, man. Like I said, man, my daughter get all the credit, man. She get all the credit. God and my daughter get all the credit, man. Give her a hand, man. Because this never happened in Jersey City. They said that these blocks cannot come together. They look at some of y'all like we animals, and we not. We not, man. We not, man. We not, man. Like I said, man, we gonna voice, we gonna voice ours, man. We gonna voice ours, man. Only thing we ask from them, man, is keep your word. Get some of these individuals jobs. You know what I mean? Help us with some of these kids, man. Keep your word, and we gonna keep our word. No matter what I believe or what we believe in, we all we all need unity. And I know there's a lot going on with cops, officers, us killing each other. But we can't just sit back and waste another generation doing the same thing. We got to be the men to stand up for, for the next generation because if not, we're going to waste them to the, doing the same thing, going to jail, shooting the violence. And we don't want that no more. You know what I mean? We want peace because at the end of the day, we need peace. We all hurting in some way. Some people look at us wrong because the pain we go through, we all doing stuff and all, all we know is how to survive. That's all we know. We ain't never brought up to talk to love ourselves. But all us right here, we stand at one because we want unity. We want peace for everybody. You know what I mean? We know what goes on out here in these streets. And if we waste more time, continue doing the same thing, it's like, what's the point? What's next? This organization, Bless, I just, just step up real quick, fellas. It's Blacks in law enforcement servicing the community. And everything on this shirt, that's what it means. We stand by, we stand by that. This is our community. Every last one of y'all here are not animals. Y'all not savages, y'all not killers, y'all not gangsters, y'all kings, queens. That's right. That's right. People. Make it plain. And we want y'all to understand that we understand that. Y'all people. I don't drive down the street and see y'all on the corner and be like, what the fuck they doing? No. I see kings. I see scholars. I see engineers. I see businessmen. I see kings, bro. We don't come from weak stock. That's right. We don't. We just not built like this. So every time a brother dies in the street and I gotta, I gotta respond and I look at that body with no life in it, a little bit of me dies with that body, bro. I'ma tell y'all, when I said I was doing this, everybody was like, what? <laughs> Quay, you, I told them I, I know all y'all on, yeah, on the phone. Was. <laughs> I told them I know all y'all on a personal level, and I know how y'all feel about me. I know that they gonna come, but I know y'all want it for yourself. So this was powerful. And if ain't nobody here, trust me, they gonna fall into play. Y'all know, y'all ain't crying. Dang. Everybody gonna fall into play, but I just wanna tell y'all, thank you. Like I'm proud of y'all, and y'all know, let's let's get it going. Why was it important for the police to be here with this meeting? Because it's a concerted effort. We can't do this alone. The community can't 
fix its problems alone without the help of the police. The police can't solve the problems without the help of the community. It has to be a concerted effort, and this was just a show of that. The only way this peace can happen is if we all work together. The only way this peace can sustain is if we all work together. So that's why it's important for law enforcement, you know, first responders that were present to be in the mix, in the crowd, and give that sense of unity because that's what this was. This was a show and a, and, and a feeling and an air of unity. Without that unity, the community is useless. I, per se, haven't heard anything about a protest or anything being organized as far as George Floyd is concerned, but what I will say is everything that happened to George Floyd should not have happened. That was wrong. That any law enforcement officer can tell you that was just wrong and it shouldn't have happened. And it's unfortunate that it happened, but our goal here is to make sure that this doesn't happen here, but I believe it won't because our police department and our community have a pretty solid relationship. And it's not perfect, but it's solid. And we understand each other pretty well. And we just want to make sure that this initiative ensures that there are no other George Floyds anywhere else. Mark Boosnich reporting in Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.